Hi, my name is Ronit Mukherjee and I'm an applications engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to be showing you a new tool introduced in SOLIDWORKS simulation called the Stressed Hotspots Diagnostics Tool. So, um, over here we've got a plier assembly and uh, we've already run the study. As you can see, we've got the results folder showing. Now, in order to use the new Stress Hotspot Diagnostics Tool, all we do is we right click on the results folder and we go and select stress hotspot diagnostics once you select this option it opens up the feature on the left hand side and uh, um, the this tool is basically identifying the regions where we've got high stress areas between adjacent elements uh, we've got a sensitivity sensitivity factor over here where the low sensitivity factor only addresses the very the highest stress areas whereas if I increase my um, sensitivity factor to you know a higher number it's going to show me more areas that are affected um, um, that are affect, um, that, that show high stress basically so once you've selected a sensitivity factor all you have to do is uh, click this run stress hotspot diagnostics option and this opens up this window for us um, where SOLIDWORKS is basically telling us hey there are some uh, hotspots uh, detected uh, these are some high stress areas in these certain regions so if you click OK to this um, SOLIDWORKS opens up this uh, window uh, in our feature manager and over here I'm going to be selecting isolate stress hotspots so once I select this option SOLIDWORKS uh, I mean all the coloring scheme sort of goes away and if I zoom in you'll notice uh, these um, edges have uh, a darker shade so this is where SOLIDWORKS simulation is telling me hey uh, you got to be careful um, these areas are some high stress areas in your model similarly on the other plier arm we've got some um, uh, other op um, high stress areas here as well and as well as on the pin so this sort of gives me a good idea in understanding you know where uh, where I'm going to be seeing the higher stresses and what do I need to do with my design how I need to change my design to be addressing those issues so in these edges I would probably add a small fillet so you know I can uh, get rid of this uh, ha um, uh, get rid of this edge and basically smoothen this out so um, uh, I, I basically get a surface area over here and when you have force over area you get a you get a value whereas um, uh, if you ha just have a, a sharp edge over here an area of a sharp edge is basically zero and if you are uh, trying to find some uh, stress uh, stress values in that area you probably are not going to get uh, uh, good results because uh, you're basically dividing uh, your force by um, an area of an edge which is zero and hence you'll see some really significant high uh, increases in your uh, one MC stress which kind of sort of tells us those are some bogus results so okay um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you for watching